parachute pants. So yeah, what really, really, uh, what really, 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 really cyclo. Um, yeah, what really remains to be said about this? Just gotta get to the last area and finish it up, which you've already seen me do. Because in my test video, I beat the entire game in one segment due to glitchiness and awesomeness. Here, I'm going to do it for reals this time. Without any annoying skipping crap. Uh, if you didn't watch that one, there was a trick I did that involves taking one of these these flying dudes, they're called Rios, uh, into the room, and you have to, like, um, hold on. You have to get it down into the oatmeal and then, like, freeze it and use it as a, as a platform to get over to the door. But if you've beaten both of the bosses, you can just do that and get across the way that you're supposed to. And then we can head into, basically, your doom. Still love how she has no eyes. I guess they wouldn't really be able to do that with the lack of pixels. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, we've got Metroid. Some of them are more red than others. I don't understand that. And you don't have to kill them. And stupid ten missile doors. It's like that pink one in Ridley's room, except for that one was yellow. I guess... It's probably the same door, just with palette differences. I really don't know. Anyway, this place, uh, if you don't have the ice beam, it's incredibly irritating to get through because there's no way to kill the Metroids otherwise. And, like I said, you don't have to kill them, but you're going to have a bad time getting past them if you can't even freeze them. Especially with the Applejacks flying around. That was a criticism of mine. I called them Applejacks because some of them are green. But none of them are green, oh my god. That's because they're only green in Zero Mission. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Right now, if you want to call them SpaghettiOs, fine, call them SpaghettiOs. But they're still Rinkas. And they're still very stupid ideas for enemies. Why would you just have little donuts flying around? There was a good Crocomire Hunter episode of that, though. It just sort of grabs a bunch of them and puts them in a pile, and they, like, make this big, like, chain-link fist or something. I don't know what the hell it was. It was like a big cage. And I can't get through, and we've got Joey's among us. Joey, go away. Metroids, you go away, too. Jeez. Uh, there's no escape. Or maybe there is. Yay for the game not freezing this time. Alright, so now we gotta get rid of... Ugh, these things are jerks. Uh, I think they take seven missiles to kill, but then, like, for every half of a second that you're not shooting it, it regenerates a little. So it always ends up taking more than seven, because you gotta deal with the stupid cannons shooting and the rinkas and... All that wonderfulness, so... Basically, you're just gonna wanna have a ton of missiles here. And... If you have less than, like, 150, you don't have much of a chance of getting through this. Although it is apparently possible to get through with just, like... 10. I'm not exactly sure how one would do this. I've even seen it be done, and I still don't know how it's done. Because, uh, the Rinkas don't drop any, like, refills here. They do in Zero Mission, which is why the 10% run is possible there. But here, they don't do anything except for get in your way and be annoying. And now we've got... the immobile boss herself, Mother Brain, who is not, um... a terrifying, like... whatever the hell that thing was from the Captain N cartoon. That was not Mother Brain. I, 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 I never actually watched that cartoon, but I'm going to deny that it even existed. And uh, I believe Mother Brain regenerates as well. And when she starts pulsating quickly like that, you know that she, uh, you're getting pretty close. But 
then if you, like, leave it sit for too long, then she goes back. Uh, the Zebatites stay dead, though. If you, like, get rid of them and then die and then have to come back, they'll still be gone. And there we go. If you don't have all the energy tanks to burn like I did, you can just not be as suicidal as I was. And now for the first escape of the series, which is very easy, but it set the trend for more exciting escapes to follow. And I still kind of hate this one because of these annoying-ass jumps you have to do, which is why I like to do that trick. But then I will get made fun of by Proteus and Slow Beef, or whatever their names are, I don't even remember anymore. Um, so, yeah. Ah, damn it all. <laughs> So yeah, this was Metroid. Um, like I said, kind of a useless playthrough to have, but... Well, it wasn't all totally boring. Maybe. I'm trying to find a reason to justify playing through it, but I can't find one, so whatever, here we go. And... Norton! Thank you for saving the day. Um, how about you go away now? Thank you. That was that, that was that was wonderful timing. I got to admit that. Let's read it in the meat wad voice. No, I'm not going to do that this time. It may be invaded by the other Metroid because there's only one of them. So, uh, this was originally followed up by Metroid 2 for the Game Boy, and now there's about 400 midquels in the Prime series that include Metroids. And yeah, it's all very vague. Oh, and also, uh, right there, if you start the game suitless and get through it all in less than one hour, then she becomes, like, even more suitless, I think. I know I'm not imagining this. It's best done with, like, a new game plus, which you get after beating it. But, uh, it, yeah, it's very useless to do this, but it's like, now she has slightly fewer pixels of clothing on. Oh my god. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to be discussing the storyline here, because it's pointless. But basically, all I'm saying is that, like, the plot of this is get rid of this, like, space pirate base, because they're going to use the Metroids for evil, and then the second game is get rid of all the other what Metroids that exist, so that they'll never be able to do it again. But now there's a whole bunch of games in between those that include other Metroids, and it's like, are we sure that all those are gone? No, we're not. And why is the game slowing down like that? Ah, it's stupid Norton. Yeah, Norton's kind of ruining everything. Uh, seeing how they changed the copyright there, I'm not sure if they changed the actual credits, because I seem to remember them being a little bit different in the NES version, but... Really, who cares? I always kind of like this song, though. And I have no reason to speed it up, because I have plenty of time left. So, there we go. Waiting. Okay. Which, uh, now you get to do the new game plus. Let's play the game again! Now I have orange hair. No, I don't know, it was just weird looking. So yeah, you get the- you keep all your stuff except for the missiles and energy tanks. So if you want to play through the game again real quick, and uh, beat it in under an hour, then, like, yeah, you get that other thing. Just because I'm thinking about it, I'm going to grab that one other energy tank, because if I don't get that, I technically didn't get everything in the game. It's so important. I don't know who I'm mocking by saying this, probably just myself. But, uh... Let's just get this thing to come down here. And then, oh, or you could use this, I guess. I don't know. And... There we go. Okay, I'm done. Never playing this game again, except I probably will because I'm a moron. 